Hey there, folks. Welcome to the Stu's Game Reviews live stream. It's Saturday night, it's, uh, June 17th, 11.45 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm continuing with the uh, CD demos from the Sierra, the Sierra Demo CD, rather, that I started playing a couple times. This is part three. Maybe we'll get through the rest of the demos today. I'm still not sure what's causing that terrible buzzing noise. Um... If it happens again, I might try some other things, but it seems, to, it seems to be only happening in very specific cases, like some particular sound samples that it's trying to play through the sound blaster are corrupt or something like that, or something with DOSBox. <gasps> Excuse me, I don't know what it is right now, um, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time working on it unless there's a reason to. Like, if I was actually playing that game, not just a demo, it was making a noise, obviously I would make sure I fix it, but... For its purpose of demo, I think it's fine. So anyway, um, let's get started. Hopefully some folks will join. But if not, I'm going to have some fun by myself. Like I always do. My hair is a little messy today, but that's okay. Alright, so we're in the Sierra area. We just played the Freddy Farkas demo, which is different from the actual game, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Space Quest 5, let's try that one. Interesting. To run Devil using Adlib Sound Blaster, to run Devil using Roland. Right now, I don't have this thing set up for Roland because it was I was I was trying to troubleshoot the sound, whatever. So I'll just run it through Adlib Sound Blaster. That wasn't the issue, unfortunately. Is he whistling? <laughs> That's cute. He was whistling. <laughs> I don't remember that from the actual game. This is a good game. Weird thing is it actually was made by Dynamics, I believe, instead of Sierra. But they still have it in the Sierra section. That was terrible, by the way. Apparently, I want to do it again with the Roland. Actually, let's see if I can exit this. How do I exit it? Is there a way to exit it? It seems to me that thing I do is exit again. I'm just going to exit it like, like hard closing DOS box. I really want to hear the roll it now. I feel like this sounds like shit. It's just using like ad lib basically. Hold on a second. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can get the roll it working. Give me one sec. Nothing I tried fixed it, so. Try that also. All right, let's try it again. Kisara, Sara, whatever will be, will be. Do 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 Let's try this again, folks. Let's try the roll of demo. Makes it sound way better. Oh, 
this at all. Come on. Hello, computer. There we go. Oh, it's not working. The sound's not working. Ah, oh, shoot. I wonder why it's not working. Uh, crap, we'll, uh, That should have worked. Why did it work? Uh, oh, whoops. I changed it. Sorry about that. Intelligent. Alright, that should do it. I, was, I changed a bunch of stuff when I was trying to fix the uh, the audio. Hopefully it'll work this time. Control escape, that's how you exit it. Come on, work this time. Sounds better. Not a ton better, though. Not as good as I would have expected. Make it a little louder. They said you did a great job with this music. quite ear splitting. The whistling is cute, but that's about it. Become Roger Wilco as he attends the prestigious StarCon Space Academy. Study and hard work, as well as good peripheral vision, finally pay off when... Roger, realizing a lifelong dream, becomes the captain of his own starship and crew. Like Dick Van Dyke there. Scary, isn't it? This is a very good game. These are the voyagers of the garment ship Eureka. Our mission to sanitize strange, untidy worlds. 
to seek out and freshen up slimy, smelly life forms, even under the rim. To boldly clean up where others have gone before. Uh, I think you should open the doors first. Oh, you can't get the I, I really like this game. It was done by, by Mark Crow by himself. I mean, like, without Scott Murphy. I thought it was done very well. I think there's one part I didn't like where there's, like, a maze or something, but... Aside from that, it was well done. And what kind of space quest adventure would that this be without a few bad guys? It's again like the continuation of that same thing with the Arnoid droid, I think. Yeah, it's like the female version. Or gals! Which only makes no sense because he didn't do anything wrong in Space Quest 2. And then she me up on the playa, kiss your ass goodbye. <laughs> Which I thought was pretty funny. The nifty point and click interface makes this funny space adventure even more fun to play. How fast do I can read that? Sure, it's all fun and games, so someone loses an eye. Enjoy it, Rogers. It makes room for the starship captain. While we track down the dirty scum, he'll be dumping hazardous waste around the galaxy. You mentioned the fate of the universe in your hands? As you can see, this time I'm not alone. I've got a few new friends to help me through this adventure. See you soon, losers! Well, a promotional fee was paid for by. <laughs> That's funny. Sprint. There's a lot of sprint in this game. I think they really did pay a promotional fee. Like, seriously, they, they, they're in the game like, pretty prominently, if I remember correctly. Alright, let's try Lower Bow. I tried to play this game. I never really liked it. I found the voice actor of Lower Bow super annoying. It's like... My name is Lower Bow, and I'm in the Lion Decker Museum! I just found her super annoying, and I couldn't really play the game, but I will go back and try it at some point. Hey, always asleep. How's it going? <coughs> There's probably no voice in this demo, I'm assuming, but... Well, that reminds me, actually. All that's going there. Hang on one second. Hold on one sec. Come on. Jeez. Why is my phone not working? I guess it's dead. Hang on a second. I need to charge my phone. I'm falling apart here. I'm falling apart. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that.
I'm not a huge fan of mystery games where like things happen whether or not you're there. It's like really tough to play those games. I mean, it's realistic, but it's very hard. I'm Laura Bell. I have the most annoying advice there is. Lion Deck Museum. I'm sorry, I just, I don't, it's not even like that, but it's, that's, that's how I remember, I just remember being very grating. I don't remember there being any dancing either, like, you just go straight to the freaking museum. He's a flapper. Hey, Duncan. They're gonna show the guy get stabbed by the by the pterodactyl. <coughs> I'm sure they're gonna show that. It's like in every piece of art for the game. I think that guy in the middle is the guy that gets stabbed. Oh, he gets stabbed with a knife. Sorry. That scream was recorded by Roberta Williams, I believe. I'm just kidding, I don't know. I finally actually beat Mystery House, so that's impressive. Why well, I don't have to kill I, I just don't really like this game. That was a game record of voice acting fact, that's funny. How many times did you use that screen? That's three times in the same demo. Are you done? Are you starting over now? Why do I escape this? At least there was no, uh, you know. <laughs> All right. I think we've done everything in the Sierra section except for King's Quest VI, which I know is a playable demo. So I'm going to exit and go to the main menu and see what's in the other sections here. Let's go to Dynamics. Or Dynamix, I think it was actually called. Ooh. It's available now, coming soon to other favorites. I'm sure most of these don't have actual playable, but let's let's try Raven E. Feist, Betrayal at Crowdor. I never played this, but it's supposed to be a really good RPG. There's a demo, let's see. Must be installed on the hard disk, it says. Alright. Install it. Music, Sound Blaster, Card. Are there choices? Let's do Roland. Okay. Full demo combat puzzle. Uh, I don't know what that means, but a full demo, I guess, right? <coughs> Should I do this in Gamer's Grotto's voice or like something else? Mid Kibia, a realm of enchantment and ancient magic. Where elves, dwarves, and man once battled unimaginable evil across rifts in time and space. Tellers of lore make legendary the tales of the Rift War. The boy named Pug, a great name, who become master magician, 
His friend Thomas, which is just Thomas with an H, just spelled more pretentiously. Oh, what happened? I they took it away. I have no idea what's going on, but apparently the rule of Minkimia is being brought to life in a breathtaking fantasy role-playing experience. It's an older tale of the best-selling Rift War saga, where you too can take your place with the legends in ancient battle of sorcery, darkness, and deceit. Over 224 million square feet in size, material takes to the largest and most detailed fantasy universe ever, which just means you'll be wandering around aimlessly and with no clue what to do. <coughs> if you're lucky, fighting some grinding monsters. Explore a revolutionary virtual fantasy environment using Dynamixes or Dynamixes, famous 3 space, 3 technology. Travel through ancient elven forests, over snow-covered mountain passes, or to the stench of the royal sewers. The royal sewers don't smell. They're royal. The king's crap doesn't smell. Visit amazing towns and cities and talk to scores of very attractive characters. I do not know what fires burn in his mind, but they smoke like madness to me. The six will crush them hopelessly. Enjoy a complex story of evil betrayal that unfolds like interactive chapters in an animated novel. You can't do this on Nintendo, folks. Only on PC. Arutha's anger is flared. Fifty of his Crondorian lances have gone down to death, their throats slit while they slumbered in the castle's billets. All victims of the Mordrell's strat treachery. Okay. <coughs> a throat lozenge. Cooperate with me, Mordell, and you will live to see your children. Resist and I'll have your eyes for necklace beads, Arutha demanded. Met with stony silence, the prince reluctantly bid his torture continue. Continue the torture, please. Screaming, the Mordell thrashed with his chains, the red hot poker touches puckering flesh. With a word, you can end this madness here and now, Arutha hissed. Don't make me kill you. Well, this is pretty uh, cinematic. Gut-wrenching combat. Strategic turn-based combat meets with brutal action and incredible special effects. As you battle over 40 unsavory creatures of evil more than 500 combat situations. With sophisticated AI, digitized sound effects well over 2,500 frames of rotoscoped animation. It's role-playing combat as it was meant to be. Thanks for your combat. Let's look at the retreat button. Alright, I guess it's the combat demo. <coughs> what the heck? Who's the, who am I? Who's the bad guy? To attack this dude? Wait, what buttons are. Uh, what's the rich. I don't even know what these things do. I'm just standing there like a fool. Okay, I'm Awin. Wait, a lot. Thrust? Thrust? Thrust. I missed. Oh, uh, this, this, guy, this guy in the back looks a little scary. I cast a spell or something? Shoot an arrow? Oh, wait, choose a target. Quarrels. Elven quarrel. Surati quarrel. What can I hit these people? Like, too far away? Uh. What can I hit them? Do I own this game? I do, but I've never played it. I have it somewhere here. This light shine my face. Why do you ask? I definitely own it. The question is where is it, but yeah, I do own it. I never played it. What does this do? Oh, it's like go to the scroll to the right. How do I attack this guy? This is turn base, first of all, because they're not killing me while I'm doing this. What's this? Well, let's retreat. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, it's probably good that I retreated because... You know, don't we guys have any tooltips on top of those things? Like, I had no idea what I was doing anyway, so... Hint, left-click the carrying load the inventory. Well, 
Thanks for the hit now after you already retreated. Oh, whatever. <clears throat> Diabolical puzzles. Betrayal of Crawlers are the monster bashing, bashing, bashing test of hand eye coordination. You've got Thanks for letting me read it. Gorath scanned the runes of Boss of the Warren Held Clue Plate. It's text, the only hope of opening the difficult word lock. What the hell? Oh, it's, it's, it's translating to English now. Silently he stalks me, running as I run, creeping as I creep. Dressed in black, he disappears at night, only to return with the sun. So is this like, you know, the first letter of each thing? Nope, it's not. S A N R, the only two choices. <coughs> uh, it's a little riddle, I guess. It's a shadow. Not so hard. Congratulations, you opened the lock. There are only over 150 word lock chests in the game, including four of the demo. Hundreds of intriguing objects that you found each one. It's four of the demo. Or at least he won. Faithfully building one of the most richly detailed fantasy worlds ever created, but Trail of Crado is a revolutionary game combining over 100 hours of non linear play with the most elegantly crafted story ever brought to the world of computer role play. Maybe a kind of a Trail of Crado, visit your favorite software store. <clears throat> okay, I'll try that. I'm not sure if they'll still have a copy, but like I said, I have a copy somewhere. Where do y'all go? Alright, now you get to keep on sitting here. Right, let's try the puzzle. I want to see their puzzles. It's kind of cool how it does that. Prince of Rutha from his lofty perch will find our troops without a search. His men will fall his castle too. That will Prince Arutha do? He'll die, probably. <laughs> Stupid puzzle. Let's go back to the yeah, go back to the main menu. I'll see if I can get to the other two. This is really silly though. Who Gorath is? Magic, death, temple, bless, rest. At last, you may solve this. Uh. Okay. Is it sleep? Maybe. Nope, it's not sleep. Spell? No. <clears throat> I wonder what this means. STCA. Last. It's probably the last letter of each one. That spells chest. Let's try the last one. This is only four. <coughs> it's sort of cool. They're, they're too easy for me, but I'm going to give you four options in each one. Warrenhell and Patithian guarding our lid to close her ever so tightly. Now that's I don't know what to do what this means. Close their rectums. T P O S. Close her.
hell does that mean? War in Hell and Patathian guarding our lid to close her ever so tightly. Fiastial. I'm gonna exit. I don't care because I feel like this. Like this, you, you, I don't know if this means closing our lid. They mentioned it before, so they about a lid. But maybe it's a word that appears in the game that I don't know what it is. Fiestal. forget it. Who cares? I fill up with the lock. Oh well, I failed. I suck. If it was in the game, I would try harder. Quit the dice. So we're trying to crowd around. It looks interesting. It's supposed to be a very good game, like I said. Let's try to take a break, pinball. I think I have this game, too. Oh, but there's no actual... Uh, I do have this game. There's no actual demo here, just a screen. Even more incredible machine. I'm not sure if I have this. I think I do. I never was like really into the incredible machine because it just seems like stupid to me. I don't know. It just I, I never really got into the concept of it. I guess some people like it. But I also wonder like who really likes it, who just likes it because it's a Sierra thing. Always asleep. I think you're the only person here right now. By the way, it's pretty pretty dead. It's pretty dead. <laughs> Jeff Tadell Productions. Okay. Uh. <coughs> I don't know, I just don't... I find the concept of making these... It doesn't excite me. But I never really gave it a try either. Even this is this is tedious from my perspective. Is it, is it gonna be a demo or I mean there's no could I do anything in this demo or just watch? Is this how slow goes in the actual game? The bars move really slowly. The fog's in the app. Like a solar cell, I guess. I don't really understand how this works. I have fun at more than one frame per second. Yeah, I mean, I can speed it up, but I, I think this is how fast it's supposed to go. But you can see sometimes when, when things are like. Like, look how fast the fish is spinning around. If, like, the fish was gonna go, like, faster than that, it would be, like, crazy. Is this just the same thing again? Yeah, this is the same thing. This is shitty. Okay, now we get to the actual thing here. Puzzle tutorial. Put the ball in the hoop. 
Make the basketball go with the hoop. Okay. I don't even see a hoop. Is this the hoop? I don't see a hoop. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. What is this thing? What does this do? And rotate it. That's not much of a tutorial. I'm losing my bonus also because I have no idea what's going on. Like, what does this do? Okay. Okay. I mean, this thing is gonna just fall. I guess I, I could put this here so that it fall, hits this ball, but. Will that just do it by itself? I, I don't know. Didn't seem to do anything. Why would that work? There is anything attached to it? What? What? I could do that. I don't understand. What happened? I right clicked. What? It showed me like how I have it set up. How is this a tutorial? It didn't like do any it didn't show me anything. I don't know, like what is this? Start machine? <laughs> uh okay. I'm gonna add start machine. This thing just completely went off the rails there. That's not what I thought was going to happen. What do these mice things do? Alright, okay. When you, when your ball hits it, the, the mouse goes crazy. Alright, so... That's fine. So theoretically, I got I, I tied this to the wrong thing. I have to connect it to the mouse thingy here. Let's try it again. Why did the ball go to the left? Oh, because the mouse is turned the other way. I gotta turn this mouse around. Yay! Got a password. Let's advance. Hey gamers, bro. Show one of the four bells into the house. Let's just start and see what happens. Oh, good lord. One of the guys got vacuumed. That guy got unconscious. What about this dude? He's got the balloon. I just like popped the balloon. What happened to this, this guy here? He got eaten by the alligators? Yep. 
Why was that nail I just had? How do I used to pop the balloon? Put it up here. There we go. There's a little die for like here. There's just this one guy gets there. Like lemmings. Yeah, that sequel Sid and Al's Incredible Tunes, right? I actually have that, but I don't have the Incredible Machine either. Oh, yeah. Advance. Basil must cross all the gaps. To solve this puzzle, you must connect to the teeter totters. The rope passing through the pool and pulleys. You also also must stretch and incline smaller to fill over the gaps. What? My bonus is disappearing. here. What does this do? Exactly what I was hoping for. No, oh, no, fucker, stop. I guess it's like that he won't even go on a prize. Ah, man. That was close. I thought that was gonna work. You need to help me, does it? I guess it does. It makes this thing go down. How do I get this thing to clear the freaking gap? There we go. All right now it's on the wrong, wrong side. Yay! This is more fun than I than I give it credit for, but I'm still not sure how much I want to play it. How many puzzles are there in this demo? Rush Bob Fish to the hospital. Switch on the car's headlights, flashlight, and start its motor. Turn the gear the real real. Oh, that's cool. It's a car. Draw the headlight, start the gear in the rear wheel. This one. Right. Okay. 
Go put this through your police is kidding you. Oops, I need to do that. Any ideas on this one? Like like breaking the uh let's see what other ball up there. How am I supposed to do anything? There's like shit all over the place here. Cow did catch you something, but it didn't. Oh, can't do that. And all sorts of crap here. Hooks and God knows what. I don't know what any of these things do. You know what? I had enough of this right now. This is not a good tutorial. In a, in a good tutorial, they should introduce each of these items in one thing, so I know what they do. There's nothing that explains to me any, anywhere any of these things do, so it's just too much. I don't even see what's beyond there. Is it this thing does? Yeah, it is. Okay, so I also have a slope. I have 50 other items here. A gun, a mirror, a light bulb. It's too much for me. All right, I'm going to stop here. It was it's like a cute game. I mean, at some point I'll play it, but that was quite enough demoing for me. Now let's see Aces over Europe. Alright, that's a demo. Incredible machine where the incredible stew raging. I that wasn't really much of a rage, was it? <laughs> I just sort of gave up. You know what's an amazing dynamics game? Heart of China. I love that game. out here in, in New Jersey. So happy Father's Day. Any fathers who are watching this. Cases over Europe. This is probably not an interactive demo. It looks pretty cool. Dynamics made all these flight sims that I sucked at. Like A10 Tank Killer. Red Red Baron. I just sucked at all of them. I suck at these games. But I do want to try again at some point. I think it was not cut out to be a pilot. What was that, like a kite? Or that smoke? You also suck at it? I think it's just like, uh, it's like the computer's like dogfighting itself here. So it actually smash it. Yeah, that would happen to me too. It feels like it's flying backwards. I want to try to play this game. F 15 Strike Eagle. I'm sure I'll just suck at it, but. Alright, it's enough of this shit. It's just going on forever.
that's it, I guess. It's not quite Top Gun, is it? They had, like, those Aces series. Aces over the Pacific, Aces over Europe. There's some different views we're getting here, but I can't tell if it's random or what. Alright, I just escaped to exit it. Hey, there's a bunch of people on Twitch watching me. If you guys like this stuff, follow. Right, let's see, let's try uh, Front Page Sports Football Pro. Coming soon. That's not the, that's not what the actual box looks like. It doesn't say pro like that. <laughs> that was cute. For the Cleveland Browns. Oh, that's really bad. Uh, what the heck? Wow, I think it needs some more FPS here. Some more. <laughs> yeah. Front page boards beta copy, it says. On the bottom. S Squib return. Did I ever play this? I don't think I did. I have it, but I don't think I ever played it. <laughs> no sound to this demo. That shows you Jim Kelly. Buffalo versus Dallas. Ooh. It's called. Cool. Yeah, Jim Kelly, it was. What just happened? Oh, yeah, look at that. Touchdown, number e six. Tight end. 1992 NFL. So they, they don't have the the NFL license. They only have the Players Association license. That's why there's no. It said Jim Kelly on the Bills, but they don't have like the the team logos. It just looks like the Cleveland Browns versus the uh, Dallas Cowboys missing their logo, or it looks like a Raiders helmet missing logo. Play the best. It was supposed to be a good game. It is, I mean, it's supposed to be a good game. I, I haven't played it, though. I do have it somewhere here, though. GoPro. Is it better than Madden? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Goal. This is not a soccer game. I like to see the incredible tunes. That's what you were talking about before, Gamers Grotto. Citadel's incredible tunes. All right, there's no actual demo for this. just a picture. I have a weird box for this one. Stellar Fire for Sega CD. Okay, no demo for this either. Probably because it's a Sega CD game. I never heard of this. Oh, based on Stellar 7. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I have that. Aces of the Deep. So they're the same series as the other one, Aces over Europe, Ace of the Pacific, Submarine Simulation. Gamers Grotto says, I just finished playing Cry Boss as a first person shooter starring a huge, a huge Hollywood cast. Oh, cool. The only thing that ever frightened me during the war was the U Boat Parallel. Sir Winston Churchill. There's no sound in this demo? Weird. All the Sierra ones had sound. Even that Aces one had sound before. This was like a very low uh, frame per second here. Oh, now it started going all of a sudden. Aces of the Deep. I could speed up DOS box, but it's running what should be decent speed. Do I get to control this? I don't know. No, apparently not. It's just screenshots. The cast features Danny Glover, Kim Basinger, Villa Heist, A Trio, Chuck Norris, Matt. Really? 
What the hell is that? Is it a new game? What's it? What's it for? See, this game, this, the reason there's no sound, I guess, in this demo is because it's like a game that's like in production, and they just they just took some screenshots, and that's it. It's probably for like they probably originally did this for like a press press briefing or something. You suck a ship. Just came out for PS5, Xbox Series X, and PC on Thursday. Crime Boss. Sounds really cool. I want to play that. Look at that guy drunk in the back. That looks like Daniel Craig. Not totally like him, but it looks decently like him. that Admiral Donuts these games like should be fun but they're usually very hard is the problem to actually like control a sub or whatever like they're usually very difficult is that the end yeah that's the end all right other favorites Surprised Willie, oh, Willie Peebish is here. It's too bad they don't have uh, Heart of China. That's a really good game. All right, let's try Aces of the Pacific. Same series as the one we just saw. All right, let's do R. Yeah, Heart of China was a great game. Roll W to Roland. First, it came a 10 tank killer, which I couldn't play. I sucked at. Then, came Red Baron, which I couldn't play because I sucked at. And now, we have Aces in the Pacific, which I also am sure we'll be able to play. Oh, this is better than the other one. Aces of the Pacific! Eric had always its amazing games under their belts, which is why they say I miss their work since the game was brought up. Yep, I agree. Although this is Dyna Dynamics. Part of the Sierra family, but not really Sierra. Tangled American Aces? Who am I playing as? Yeah, the Japanese. I was, I'm really good at Wing Commander. I don't know why I suck at because the planes don't do like what spaceships can do all sorts of weird things. Planes you do some weird thing and then you get the boat like this. You can tell that's like the dynamic side. Uh, like head up display, like all the, the fonts are totally the same as all the other games. Sly. Feels like a bad guy, doesn't it? This music is good. Thumbs up. Well, you know, I was I was just thinking before Gamers Grotto of like Bright Star. I guess it's going to be yeah. Bright Star, which 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 is listed out here as one of the companies, like they had children's software, but apparently Sierra bought them not for their software but for their technology because they had really good lip syncing technology and they use it in King's Quest uh, Six. All right, let's see. Uh, we're just talking about A10 Tank Killer. Let's do A10 Tank Killer, and I'll do Red Baron. Oh, there's nothing there. No, no, uh, no demo. Probably a good thing. I, I think I got A10 Tank Killer for, like, free when I bought Heart of China. 
Red Baron. Also no demo. Oh well. Alright, let's see Willie Beamish. There must be a demo for Willie Beamish. No, no demo for Willie Beamish. Surprised. I mean, I don't like Willie Beamish. I think the game sucks, but. Stream a full playthrough 810 Tech. I will, but not, not now. <laughs> let's try Stellar 7. Stellar 7 is a really old game. It was published like multiple times. And not uh, here, though. Hey, Pirate Gear Boy 12. Says, as far as adventure games go, I've played the Willie Beamish Ride the Track. I, and Rise of the Dragon, I believe, played part of Nerd Beat It. Willie Beamish, I don't like. Heart of China is really good. Nova 9. Let's try that one. Nothing there for Nova 9. I have a copy of Nova 9, like, right there. It's underneath a pile of stuff. Let's try Take a Break, Crossroads for Windows. Oh, there's a demo for this one. I don't have this game. You have to install it to the hard disk? Alright, yes. What just happened? My Johnny Cocktails is garbage. Where is my game? I don't think it worked. Let's try this again. You're a big fan of Willie Beamish? A lot of people are big fans of Willie Beamish, but I think it's crap. I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, what do you say? Rise of Dragon is really good. See, 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 I have that one. Um, the problem with Willie Beamish was the, was the way it was marketed. All the marketing for Willie Beamish basically said, what if you were 12 years old again, knowing what you know now, and imply that you could, like, have fun and get into a little trouble and whatever else. That was the marketing for it. But in the actual game, when it starts, you're, like, this close, and I'm, like, showing my fingers together on purpose. You're this close from being sent to military school. You do one thing wrong, and you go to military school. That sort of, like, ruins the whole premise of the game. And then, after that, it got even stupider with, like, Leota, whatever, Helmsley. What happened? The whole thing froze up. Hello. Hello, computer. I may have to close this. And re yeah, look, I think it died. I think it crashed. Yeah. Wee-wee! Push me on the swing, Wee-wee! Wee-wee, push me on the swing! The game is annoying. Oh, you forgot our other sister, other sister gamer, Grotto. <laughs> You're only thinking of the one sister. And his frog is horny, too. <laughs> you forgot her. <laughs> I don't know how you forgot her. Try it again. This time I won't, I won't do the hard drive install part. Mm -hmm. 
it said one of the puzzles won't work if you don't install it to your hard drive. So well, that's okay, I guess. What's going on here? Oh, I'm going to play crossword puzzles now? How does this work? I can't move the arrow. The arrow key moves to the right, but not down? What the heck? Oh, what a... What? 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 Oh, you got to change it from, like, I see. That's how I do it? Why can I just use the arrow keys to move around? Uh, okay. Let's see if I can do a puzzle. This is easy. Just cross those words. Wall coding. Uh, what's a wall coding? Plaster. It's 12 across. Everything, you know, all. 15 across. Hot beverage, tea. So I guess this is plaster. 19 across. Winter toy. Sled. Uh, four down. CDBL. Cheer. Maybe. Seat is chair. Grasp, hold. It's definitely an easy puzzle. What's this creature you're playing as? I don't know what the hell that is. I don't have this game. I see. I see that on eBay many times, and I was like, "Why the hell would I need a?" A crossword puzzle game, and I feel like this this demo has justified that so far. I mean, this seems like really boring to to to, to play, but I'll you know I'll play. I'll try to beat this one puzzle, and that's it. News accounts reports. It looks relaxing. Well, I mean, if I could use the arrow keys, it would be more relaxing. This interface is pretty shitty, actually. Freight? I don't know what that is. Poem section. It tells you we got it wrong. Like, like, like that. Does it tell you anything? Oh, it just erased it. If it's wrong, it just takes it out. It doesn't let you do it if it's wrong. That's interesting. But that's not. That's sort of stupid because it's probably an option that you can turn off. Wanda's head. Wanda's placards. Yeah, auto check word. So I guess if you put that in, then it uh, it'll fix it for you. So there were the cup of coffee, organ play, leisure suit, la, I mean, take a break, crossroads, yeah. Stories, tales, kinds, I don't know what that is. Sounds, horn, toots. Uh, there's heavenly instruments, harps, nuts and bolts. Very little. Small cisterns. Don't know what that is. Pause high must be the boss key. Hm. I guess so. That's funny. Cisterns, tanks. I mean, that's a pretty weird clue, but okay. Uh, 
curvy letter. Uh, make lace. That's not right. Okay. Got that one wrong. Pigs home, sty. Tree fluid, sap. The S is a curvy letter, I see. Milk. Bulls. Bull. Knowing. I know what that means. Harbors. Harbors. Little kind of sorts. Peculiar, strange. Spook, ghost. Yeah, a lot of people did stuff like that. Facilitates. Oh no. Laughter sound, huh? Stress signal, SOS. Oh, this is easy as I guess. Knowing, oh, wise, okay. Harbors, ports. I thought it was ports before, but that's not really harbors, is it? Alright, uh, burger shape, patty. What was me, alas? Halt, stops. Shoe bomb, soul. Almost done, guys. Many times, often. Off far. <laughs> Error access denied. Okay, that's that's how good good win there. <laughs> it crashed. Alright, well that was fun. Let's exit windows. Oh jeez, it crashed again. It's a great program. <sighs> Note to self, take a break pinball does not work very well. Yeah, very stable. Access denied. Have that wrong every time. Let's try Johnny Castaway. Johnny Castaway is a really cool program. You guys play Johnny Castaway? I used to have a pirated version of it. Uh, there's no demo of this. That's terrible. It should be a demo. They even spelled Johnny wrong in the text. Let's see what they have for Bright Star. It's all children's software. I can't believe there's other favorites. Yobi's Magic Spelling Tricks. I could have bought that a bunch of times and I never did, just on principle, because I didn't want to be a completionist. EcoQuest and Lost Seeker of the Rainforest, I did not realize were from Bright Star. Let's see, ready, set, read. <laughs> Bananas and Jack. Another one of the Sierra Discovering series I did not buy. Alphabet Blocks, or let's see what it is. I never saw this even. I mean, I'm going to go out and try to find it now. Uh, I hope it meets the requirements. It's a Windows program. Wonderful. Okay, it's just a demo. I get it. I don't hear nothing. I feel like the sound is not working. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, especially because, like, it's for kids who can't read, if, if you think about it. It's like learning to read. Like, you, like, like let's pretend we can, we're, we're not talking, so this guy will think his sound doesn't work. My windows that like my, my I I've always had I don't even, I notice window the I notice the window starts not going do never any problems in the past. But like for some reason it's not making noise right now. And it's not exiting either. It's a weird thing about the way they're they're running the, the windows. I never had any problems with it. Hold on. It's like is it running my windows or its own windows? That's what else I wonder here. There's no sound there either. Hmm. Is it kind of possible that I messed around with the sound to the point where it's not working? No sound. I wonder if you reinstall the sound driver or something. All this stuff is here. Oh, so I changed the I changed the sound card from Sound Blaster 16 to Sound Blaster Pro because I was trying to see if I could fix that sound issue. I bet you that's what's causing all these problems. Shit. Alright, let me fix that. I was, again, I was trying to f figure out why I'm having all these issues. With those other games while making those noises, but I didn't re—I didn't reinstall the uh, yeah, DOS box. I didn't reinstall Windows after that. There we go. it again uh, Sierra demos one ISO Yeah, which door should I click on? Let's read a story. Here's how we play. I'll take the 
some words out of the story, you put them back. Boop, boop, boop. There once was a princess who cried and cried. She could not read, although she tried. There was a princess who and cried. She could not read, although she tried. Can you remake the sentence? Could. 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 I guess you can't put it in the wrong place. That's one! That's two! <laughs> Said tricks very strong language instead. That's all of them! Way to go! That's what was number that? one! <laughs> I want to find someone to teach me to read. Where can I find the teacher I need? I want to find to teach me to read. Where can I the teacher I need? Can you rebuild the sentence? <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I want to find someone to teach me to beep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> oh, he's put it That's there for me. One. I didn't do that. <laughs> it's there for me because I was stupid, I guess. That's two. This one said, find the next one. You're too stupid to do so. all of them. Is you it too loud? It. How much speech do they have in it, this game? It was like a disc-based game. Now I gotta buy this game. You're on your way! He hugged her toy chimp and Jack in the box. Both sat on a stack of alphabet blocks. He hugged her toy chimp and Jack in the box. Both sat on a stack of blocks. Can you rebuild the sentence? That's one! That's one! That's two! Who's the more annoying That's voice? This guy or them. the monkey? That's right! Look at that reward I got. <laughs> I want to read. She That's a very cry. nervous laugh. Like, <laughs> like the toys and the toys came alive. To read, she cried. Her tears wet the toys, and the toys came. Can you remake the sentence? Hope so. That's one. That's two. That's all of them. Good job. <laughs> What airplane pilot? We'll teach you to read, said Bananas and Jack, and they started to teach from the alphabet stack. We'll teach you to read, said Bananas and Jack, and they started to teach from the alphabet Can you rebuild the sentence? That's one! That's two! There's so much demo here. That's all of them! Fantastic! This is five more. I'll hear the rest of this incredible story. Bananas and Jack taught the princess to read. Thank you, she said. You're great teachers indeed. Then she killed them. <laughs> 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 To read. Thank you, she said. You're great indeed. Can you remake the sentence? If I must. That's one. That's two. This is almost as good as some of those That's light all spin of them. games. Good job. That's 
funny gamers grow. Reading is easy and so fun. I'm to say your work is. Can you remake the sentence? I'll do the new gamers grow sentence. Bananas and Jack taught the princess to read. Thank you, she said. Your voice work is making my ears bleed. How's that? Bouncing randomly that ball. Leave the palace. Be happy and free. Teach all children to read as you <laughs> have taught me. It's a long story. Like I feel like Leave it actually ended three panels ago, but it's free. just going on randomly. All children to read as you have me. Can you, you rebuild have the sentence? Me. Yeah, I'm very smart. They kissed the princess. Oh, I didn't get a good animation that time. On their way. They now teach reading day after day. They kissed the princess and went on their way. Now teach reading day after day. Can you remake the sentence? One more here, one more, one more. That's more. right. That's how I got an animation. You're almost there. Thank God. Reading is fun and easy too. Bananas and Jack will also teach you. What are these stories like this are the actual program? Easy. Bananas and Jack will also teach you. Can you remake the sentence? That's so hard, man. There's only like three options. That's two. That's all of them. I'll be a monkey's uncle. Nice going. Yay. It's the, what are they called? Trio. Fiesta Trio. Did you say you're a winner? <laughs> that was fun. Let's do it again. No, Alan, no, no. There once was a princess no. who cried and no, cried. No, 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 no. She could not read, although she tried. A big rig's time, yeah. There was a princess who and cried. She could not read, although she tried. You can play the can whole damn stupid story again. Oh, that makes it do it again. I'm trying, Gamers Grotto. Not read. Although she tried, can you remake the sentence? Lights out. What's the other doors? What's this, by the way? Okay, it's a sample. Let's play with the order of the alphabet. <laughs> Let's build some words. Here's how we play. I will say a word and you build it. Can you build the word hug? That's the sound ug. That's the sound <gasps> Fantastic! How's that? That's your first one. Oh, so I got like a banana here? Can you build the word sleep? You got it. I think he is more annoyed. This one sounds like a girl. A little bit. That's one of the players are always freaking good. Good start. Good fart? Oh, good start. Can you make the word frame? Yep. 
You got it. <laughs> There's only six more of these, so let's see what happens at the end. Five more. Can you build the word Jeep? I hope there's, I hope there's a curse That's word. Right. At, you know, if there was a curse word, you know how happy I would be? I'd be like so happy. I'd be happy as a pig You're and sheep. Halfway there. We learned in college to test. Can yeah. you make the word moon? Oh, ooh, that's a bad word. Terrific! We had that cloud in the other one. Can you make the word cake? See, they have, this is the, talking about the lip syncing technology that they that they use to make this game. If you watch next time he talks. Um, the lip syncing is what they bought this company for so they could use lip syncing for King's Quest 6. Look at next time he You're talks. Smart. See that? They have they, the mouth moves with the words that they're saying. That was in 1992, that was very high tech. Can you build the word nine? Good job. Only one more gamers grotto. Nine. Can you make the word sheep? Fantastic. Yay. I think that's the victory. So. play again. That was fun. Let's do it again. It's definitely not. Can you build the word stuff. frame? Lights out. I assume this one doesn't work either. Let's <coughs> rhyme words. I looks like this room is the same as this being a demo. You stupid cheap bastard. Play the, buy the freaking game. Bye. Bye, losers. No rhyming for you. Right, let's try Yobi's magic spelling tricks. Let's see, there's a demo of that one. There is not. Oh, what a shame. I should have bought this game. I had a chance. But I didn't. I'd say I told one of the other crazy Sierra people that it was up for sale. One of the guys who. Cr uh, let's see. Eco Quest Search for Cetus Sierra. Wait, Pepper's Adventures in Time is another great game. Great game. Ooh, Eco Quest. This is a good game, but the kid's voice is really annoying, if I remember correctly. Look. Hello, Delphinius. Nice to meet you. It's not that bad. It's just, but it's a stupid voice. I paid my dues. If it's a CD-ROM version, why does it show a floppy disk as the icon? See raw version of peppers mentioned in time. Really came on floppy disks. That was a nice try, gamers draw. Die with a dolphin. Yeah, there was some voice a couple of voices, but it was it, it was not that it wasn't fully voiced. This game is fully voiced. 
Not the demo though. Yeah, it could be Echo's cousin. <coughs> this one, this one speaks. It's not, it's not a very good game. It's an okay game. It's about like you know conservation, protecting the environment, and all that. Yeah. The hello, Delphinius. Oh my God! They dumped all the toxic waste. It's gonna kill the animals. The fishes and stuff. Confront a monster embedded by toxic waste. A Sega tried to sue Sierra with this? Why? That guy's trying to fly to the whale's mouth. Or swim into the whale's mouth. Oh, Echo and Echo. That's funny. Didn't think of that. How do I exit out of here? I want to quit. <coughs> I want to restart. Let's try three. Lost Seeker of the Rainforest. Oh, there's a demo of this too. Talk to the hand, people. I did play it. I think I even beat it, but it was it wasn't very memorable. I swear there's one part where you're climbing a tree. A big tree. Rare, it used to be a very rare game. Lately it's been... More, I've seen it much more often, like for sale. But it used to be very rare. Yeah. And if you, if you could find a copy of the game, usually it was missing the... The, the eco news, whatever letter. Eco quest was about protecting the environment. <coughs> what is this? What is the tree I was thinking of? Maybe. How does he understand their language? So this game did not have a CD release, so there's no speech of this one, but the first game did. Yes, we get it. You told us you want us to save you or whatever. <laughs> that was funny. Bunch of bats, looks like. After this, I may call it a stream. It's been like almost an hour and 45 minutes, and 
You guys seem like you're sort of quiescent at this point. Those vines are not quiescent, though. Poor man's fern gully, basically. I think it looks pretty scary. Is it a guy? He's gonna burn his face off and doing that. Or his hand. Save the rainforest from that guy. Coming soon from Sierra. See, this is from Sierra Online. It doesn't say from Bright Star. Right, exit this. What's still doing the noise? That was interesting. These are the other favorites. Alphabet blocks mixed. Oh, so all these they put every all the Sierra educational stuff in the Bright Star thing, even though it's really not. That's sort of interesting. <coughs> all right, was that enough for today? You guys want to do one more? Or you want to stop there? What do you think? Stop here. I'll do Japanese alive. You follow it more? Let's see Japanese Alive, which is no demo for that. <laughs> I never heard of Japanese Alive. Well, this is definitely from Bright Star. It's interesting, it says it's it uses Bright Star's patented lip syncing technology. If I ever actually saw this for sale, I would buy it. But I've never seen it for sale. I've never, never heard of it until now. It sounds really cool, actually. Try to shoot Chuck Norris in your game. What about Mega Math? Oh, this is the Quirky and Quasu's math game. Okay. What about EG's role of discovery? This EJ and like there's also like Adabu, Adapu or something like that. They made tons of these games. I've seen the, those I see all over the place, but they're just base they're just like straight up like learning games. They're not like there's no there's no real game to it, it's just education. There's no edutainment component as far as I'm aware. Alright, let's see if there's a demo for Pepper's Adventures. There is. Oh wow, D to run the demo and I to run the interactive demo. Whoo! Alright, you know what we'll do? We'll run the demo, but not the interactive demo. That's really cool, there's two. And uh, that will be like the te the teaser for next next stream. Well, I'll, I will run the interactive demo. Now this is a really good game. I don't remember who created it. Is it Lorelai Shannon? I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's a really fun game. If you've not played Peppers Adventures in Time, you should play it. I think I have a shrink wrapped copy somewhere. All right, the working title for t was Twisty History. I remember that. Twisty History. I already played a few other things today. I played the it's one. This is a great game. Twisty history. 
Although it's not called that, obviously, the final version. There's Pepper. Oh, she's so cute. And Lockjaw, too. You can Pepper, use Lockjaw. Pepper and her dog Lockjaw are innocently playing in the front yard. Oh, voice devil. Little do they know they're about to enter the Twisty Zone. I didn't know those voices in this demo. You can use Lockjaw like an inventory app to bite people's asses and stuff. But the actual game has no speech, interestingly enough. Surprised the demo does. Always Asleep, it's a great game. And it's not the same Uncle Fred from, uh, from Dia the Tentacle. No, he's not voiced. Go find your copy that has speech, and we'll see. Come on, imbecile. I'll tell you what it means. Get the blue version. Imbecile, a very foolish or stupid person. See the gamer's grotto. The history has an online dictionary, so you can improve your vocabulary every time you play. Go is my suit. I'm a comedy girl with a vinyl record. This speech is pretty <laughs> There's probably a couple of you know, sound effects, but there's no speech in the game. If, you, if I'm wrong, go find like a YouTube video where it shows some speech for Pepper's Adventure of Time and send me the link, and I'll admit that I'm wrong. She's a village idiot. She just broke the Liberty Bell. It goes back to the time of Ben Franklin. Most of the game is about... It looks like Uncle Fred has really messed up history. How will Pepper know what should be here and what shouldn't? With the truth detector. I know Harry Krishna's in the past. Yeah. Really? Well, that sucks. Whenever you use the truth detector, you might just find the answer to a question on the quiz screen. Ben Franklin's in a hot tub and he like he doesn't want to get out. That's as a result of that, like the British win the win the Revolutionary War or something like that. Oh no. We just left Pepper alone for a minute, and she's already in <coughs> trouble. <coughs> But would... never fear, because in Twisty History, you get to play as a dog. Sniff things, chew things, dig holes, and best of all... Bite the guy's ass. <laughs> it makes no sense. Why would they scrap it if they record all the dialogue? People. That means they did 99% of the work. It makes no sense, Gamers Grotto. Pepper and Lockjaw seek help from Ben Franklin, but he is under Uncle Fred's wicked influence, too. Can the recreation of the famous Kite Key experiment bring him back to his old self? It's possible, Kite Key, but it doesn't make any sense, so I'm saying. Oops. What's Patrick? What was Patrick Stewart's role? Should have cast William Shatter, not Patrick Stewart. This is a really, really fun game, guys. Will Pepper and Lockjaw save Philadelphia? Will Ben Franklin stay a hippie? Will Uncle Fred rule the world? 
Only you can help them in their pulse-pounding, heart-racing, wildly funny and educational adventure in time. Hey, don't say the E word. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, sorry. That's the only, that's only time I can hear her voice, Gamer's Grotto. That's Pepper's voice, I guess. Don't say the E word. Educational. Twisty as Dallas had with news. That was really cool. Oops, I didn't do that. Let me exit out of here. Where I exit? There we go. Alright, well, like I said, it looks like there's an interactive demo too. <laughs> but Kira's crying, you messed up. We're going to save this for next time. It's already been two hours for this stream. I'm going to call it here. It's 1.39 a.m. here in New Jersey. So uh, thanks for people who were here today. We'll do this maybe again tomorrow. Happy Father's Day, folks. If anybody here is a father or has a father or ever had a father, happy Father's Day to you. And if you do not have a father ever, and including a biological father of some type, then probably an interesting person. But anyway, thanks to Always Asleep, to Duncan, to Gamer's Grotto, to the Pirate Gear Boy 12, and to whoever else was here lurking, thank you, Gamer's Grotto. We're at the same time. Yeah, we are at the same time. The game runs at 320 by 200. No, they, they don't assume anything because it's nice they designed two different versions and the graphics and windows were higher resolution. There are some Sierra games where the graphics are 640 by 480 in windows and it's 320 by 200 in DOS, so it depends. Anyway, guys, thanks very much. If you're watching this after the fact, make sure you like and subscribe if you like this stuff. There's Goblins 3, although it says Goblin 3. We'll do this again soon. We've got a lot more demos to go, apparently, and i got a lot more games after that. And uh, we'll talk soon. So peace out, everybody. Have a great, great rest of the night. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.